Hello ladies, my name is Patricia, also known as God Design What Here on YouTube, and welcome to my channel. I know it's been forever, I know it's been forever since I came to you guys with a video here on this channel. I have missed you guys. I've missed talking about makeup and hair and favorites and stuff and life. I missed it. And um, as you guys can see, I'm in a different place. I have a different background because I have left St. Louis. My contract ended there and I'm in a new city. If you guys care to know what's been going on with me and my moving process and all of that, I'll go ahead and leave a link to my vlog channel down below. And um, yeah, so I'll be here for another 11 weeks. So uh, yeah, so if you happen to be in the area, hit me up, hit me up. All right, so that's not what we've come to talk about today. What I have come to talk to you guys about today is a foundation that has changed my life. The foundation that I've come in to talk to you guys about today is the Immaculate Foundation by Hourglass. Have you heard about it? I've only seen just a few reviews about this. And of course they have been of beautiful ladies of lighter skin tones. And you know, when I see, when I notice that about a particular product that I think is amazing and I think you should know about it, um, but there aren't a whole, there isn't a whole lot of information about it. I wanna go ahead and bring it to you guys, especially, um, you know, my sisters who are a little bit, you know, closer to my skin range. So you guys can, really take advantage of a really really good product let me share with you guys what that product looks like it is right here it is the immaculate like i said foundation by hourglass the claims in the bottle says liquid powder foundation mattifying and oil free okay that's what it looks like let me show you guys what the box looks like that's what the box looks like can you tell i like the product because i really do okay so let's go ahead and talk about it oh let's let me tell you guys what the box says first let's start there okay it's long bear with me because you really should hear it. the miracle foundation for oily skin i mean you start it off like that though you start it off like that though okay so it says this breakthrough formula absorbs oil camouflage ca camouflages imperfections and delivers a long wearing velvet matte finish without the need for touch-ups the humidity proof water resistant foundation instantly transforms from liquid to powder and offer offers buildable medium to uh, full coverage cashmere kaolinite clay an advanced ingredient absorbs 75 percent of its weight in sebum while retaining moisture in the skin and resisting drying or flaking what a claim the miracle foundation for oily skin that's a huge claim okay so let's go ahead and talk about it like i said this was the packaging i'm gonna go ahead and open up the top for you how it came is this came covered with this little black top right here the dropper um, that I'm about to show you guys right now came separately. This is what the dropper looks like. And you just kind of put it in there once you take off that other black top, okay? That's what it looks like. It's like this aluminum looking type of packaging. It, this thing won't break on you. It's not the most luxurious looking foundation on the outside, but it is, it's nice. It has a brown top, this aluminum, has like a pinky thing about it and then it has gold lettering and hourglass and black lettering with the foundation on it let me go ahead and just show you guys so you guys can see uh oh wait a minute yeah so that's what it looks like you guys see that it's like shiny so sorry guys my nails are not done but whatever this foundation is one of the best foundations I've ever come across for my combination to oily skin. Just to give you guys a brief over overview, as I always do when I talk about foundations, I have combination to oily skin. I look for a foundation that lasts. I look for a foundation that has a good color range. I look for a foundation that um, can is matte, that can help keep my face matte throughout the day, of course. And I just look for a foundation that claim that does what it claims to do, okay? So I've worn this foundation a total of four times. I wanted to do like a first impression type of thing, because I love those but I got this as a part of the VIB Sephora VIB sale so when I got it I just absolutely had to had to open it and use it I couldn't wait for me to do a video and figure out the light situation here I've used this foundation during the day and walking around I've used this foundation at night when I'm working um, 13 14 hour wear for the foundation I've used it during that um, for that period of time or worn it for that period of time this foundation is so amazing like if you have combination of oily skin in, this foundation will change your life I've ne I've never used a foundation this lightweight on the skin never mind it's medium to full coverage never mind that I mean it is literally when I touch my face it feels like I have nothing on my skin no exaggeration like I feel like I'm just touching my skin with nothing on it it's like where did, where did the foundation go if you like coverage okay but you don't like the feeling of foundation on your face this foundation is for you like 
hands down. The coverage is medium to full as it claims to be. If you put one layer on it on your skin, that's medium coverage. If you go ahead and stipple, what I like to do is I like to put uh, one layer all over my skin and then stipple some extra foundation in just in the areas that I need, which is like on my forehead where I have acne scarring, on my chin and on my cheeks a little bit as well. I just stipple a little bit of product, extra product on there um, just to get a little bit more coverage in those areas. But yes, definitely medium to full coverage. Can't kaolinite, kaolinite clay, whatever that is, it's freaking amazing because the fact that the box claims that it helps to absorb 75% of sebum and sebum is the natural oils that your skin um, produces that are in our case overproduces. Um, and so the good thing about sebum is that it helps to moisturize your skin. Um, and, and so, but of course we don't like a whole lot of that stuff because it makes our face look greasy or whatever. So it basically helps to keep that at bay without drying or flaking according to the box. So I don't have not a dry patch on my face, okay? Nowhere. So I can't attest for it not being drying or flaking but one thing I can say is that this is not for dry skin if you have normal and up try this one out I have a video on foundations that I recommend for oily skin a drugstore and a high-end edition if you guys need some more direction definitely refer to those videos I wish I knew about this foundation prior to doing my high-end um, high-end edition because I definitely would have had this on the list hands down right up there with Lancome Tinted Doll right up there with Estee Lauder Double Wear I mean this stuff is amazing I want to say it even tops those in my opinion because that's how beautiful this foundation is and that, that takes a lot for me to say but there are a few things about the foundation that are not so great that I wish were not the case one being this foundation I believe retails for $55 and I caught it on Sephora's VIB sale which is 20% 20, 20 off so it's steep but me but me even with my cheap and frugal self okay it is worth I still believe it is worth every penny of it that's how beautiful this foundation is the second thing that I don't like about this foundation is that the color range isn't that great. If anyone from Hourglass just so happens to be watching this video, please extend the color range for this for this foundation. And I'm sure us darker skin women would appreciate it just as much as the lighter skin women. Please extend this like this foundation is amazing. Let me share with you guys, this color is in chestnut and it is also the darkest shade. So if you are anything deeper than NC50 and MAC, Caramel and Revlon, uh, 177 Cognac and Makeup Forever HD foundation, just don't even do it. Just don't, don't even do it. And I'm so, so sorry because this, mm, this is a really, really amazing product. Um, so that's another downfall about it. The last downfall about the foundation is that it claims to be fragrance free, but it has quite a strong paint slash chemical smell about it. Once you like open it and get to taking a whiff of it, it's a very, very strong smell. But since it said fragrance free, I'm expecting it to be fragrance free from the time from in the bottle to the face. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, when you open it and you smell it, it's quite strong. It's quite pungent but as soon as you put it on your face like it's completely gone like I can't smell it you know around my nose or anything like that needless to say it is the foundation that I have on my face right now so you guys have a good look as to what it looks like <sighs> isn't that pretty like oh my gosh it's so pretty I can't wait to use this foundation in the warmer months to see how it actually does and if it works just as well but I have complete faith in this product um, and I know it will do well in the warmer months because it's done so well on my skin now while it's cooler. If you have oily skin and you just so happen to be around my shade range or lighter, try this please. Try this bad boy out please. It, it will change your life. I think I've talked enough about the foundation and shared everything that I've wanted to share with you guys. If you guys just so happen to have used this foundation let me know what you guys think about it down below. Am I the only one that's in love? Like. Oh my gosh, but if you guys plan on buying the foundation because of this video, I want to know and after you try it, go ahead and let me know what you think. Did it change your life? Please let me know. Um, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and on my vlog channel. I'll be looking forward to seeing you guys over there as well. Um, I hope you guys are well and in good spirits whenever it is that this video meets you. I sincerely love you guys, and I'll see you guys next time in another video. And as always, God bless.